Bitch. Read by Derek Jacobi and Richard E. Grant. I have, so far, released for publication only one episode from Uncle Oswald's diaries. It concerned, as some of you may remember, a carnal encounter between my uncle and a Syrian female leper in the Sinai Desert. Six years have gone by since its publication, and nobody has yet come forward to make trouble. I am therefore encouraged to release a second episode from these curious pages. My lawyer has advised against it. He points out that some of the people concerned are still living and are easily recognisable. He says I will be sued mercilessly. Well, let them sue. I am proud of my uncle. He knew how life should be lived. In a preface to the first episode, I said that Casanova's memoirs read like a parish magazine beside Uncle Oswald's diaries, and that the great lover himself, when compared with my uncle, appears positively undersexed. I stand by that, and given time, I shall prove it to the world. Here, then, is a little episode from Volume 23 precisely as Uncle Oswald wrote it. Paris. Wednesday. Breakfast at ten. I tried the honey. It was delivered yesterday in an early Sèvres sucrier, which had that lovely canary-coloured ground known as jonquille. From Susie, the note said, and thank you. It is nice to be appreciated, and the honey was interesting. Susie Jollibois had, among other things, a small farm south of Casablanca and was fond of bees. Her hives were set in the midst of a plantation of cannabis indica, and the bees drew their nectar exclusively from this source. They lived, those bees, in a state of perpetual euphoria and were disinclined to work. The honey was therefore very scarce. I spread a third piece of toast. The stuff was almost black. It had a pungent aroma. The telephone rang. I put the receiver to my ear and waited. I never speak first when called. After all, I'm not phoning them. They're phoning me. Oswald, are you there? I knew the voice. Yes, Henri, I said. Good morning. Listen, he said, speaking fast and sounding excited. I think I've got it. I'm almost certain. Sample complete. Ready to continue?